in this episode of the Bourbon Guild Review Show. Dylan takes over the episode. So, so I want I'm gonna hijack our review. Then Jules hosts an unusual party. Party in my nose. Man. Hey. And Ben gets very concerned about something. Oh. All this and more in the Bourbon Guild Reviews. Evan Williams, 12-year bourbon. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Ready? Yep, Mr. Roboto. Konnichiwa! Welcome to the Bourbon Guild Ooh, Review nice. Show. <laughs> I'm Dutch. Jules. Dylan. Ben Richards, the butcher of Bakersfield. Konnichiwa. Dozo. <laughs> All right, why are we doing that? It's because we are reviewing today a special bourbon. Direct to the Bourbon Guild from our good friend, uh, who was it who gave this to us? Quaid. Quaid. He's not that good of a friend. Quaid. Well, he recalled <laughs> he recalled that he was supposed to bring us this bourbon, and he, he did on his travels to Japan. There we go. Um, and if, I don't know if you guys can see it on camera here, but we'll this is the Japanese me. export. You guys might see this with a black label and without the 12 years age statement on it, but this is Evan Williams' 12 year yeah, bourbon. 12 year. Man, on the bottle. This is one of those export only, only really available in Japan. Now, they do sell a version of this at the uh, Heaven Hill gift shop. They dip it in wax, hmm. but it's the same <laughs> screw top Plastic on the top. top. Classy. Uh, when they export it to Japan, they just have a slightly different label and they just leave the screw top. Now, now, did he get this out of duty free? No, now he, he just this? picked this up at a regular old liquor store in Japan. Okay. Um, the price paid, guys? Uh, yeah, how much? 2,981 yen. Anybody got a... That's a, ridiculous. 30 bucks. 30 bucks, right? Ridiculous. 30 bucks for a 12-year okay. age stated Evan Williams bourbon, which, guys, is this that far off then from like the old Elijah Craig 12-year? I mean, well, same distillery. It. It's, it, it's, it's in that line, right? It's so basically, they, they, they haven't been hit with the, the kind of the restrictions that we right. have. Right. I don't think 30 bucks for uh, even... I mean, granted, plane ticket costs, you know, and all that, but 30 bucks for a 12-year age bourbon is actually like... That's fantastic. It's well, kind that of, that's great, kind of though. disappearing now. Yeah, though. but that, yeah, that was the, the US standard market. in the yeah. US yeah. market. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. You're starting so. to see some 10-year age dated that are still around that area, but nothing 12-year. Now, different from the old, you know, favorite Elijah Craig, mm. this is actually at 50.5% alcohol, 101 proof, 12-year age date. I mean, I'm excited to try this, guys. Oh, yeah. 50.5, huh? Yeah. So, Dylan. Anything else on the on the background on this? I'm yeah, gonna crack so, it open. So Heaven Hill, 78 corn, 10 rye, 12 malted with barley, cast number three, 12 year. Uh, retails for 2,200 oh, yeah. yen, which is about 20, well, 30, 20. I, I said this is available in the in the Heaven Hill gift shop. Yeah, so I want to talk about it. What's the price? So at in the U.S., it costs 130 dollars with the wax. At the gift shop. At the gift shop. Bottle top. Yeah, but still with the screw top. Yeah, screw top, but dipped. In, in Japan, it costs about $23. Wow. Um, and, you know, so we know that Evan comes with Ugh. black, green, single what barrel in 1783. And for Evan Gift Shop in Japan, a red label 12 year. So. Now, yeah. Look okay, at that. No, go ahead. Okay, at I have a question. Color, guys. Color, guys. No, I know. When is the last I, time you've seen this kind of color on a $30 bourbon? I'm with you, but I have a question. Like, in the Japanese market, and again, we, you know, we, we got this from a friend who visited a liquor store, but like, we Quaid? really don't know the Japanese market. Is this kind of like Quaid-san? something that's passed <laughs> over and just be like, well, it's Elvin Williams, 12 year, okay. Well, he did, he did or is say, this a special he did, find? He did say it was the last bottle in the shop. Okay. But, uh, you know, he sent me a picture of the whole liquor store yeah. shelf and it was literally on the bottom shelf there. Yeah. Uh, Ridiculous. All the other one, Blanton and yeah. the special. So, wow. so I wanna, I'm going to hijack our review here. Uh-oh. Nice. So, as you guys know, um, you know, our brothers here in the guild uh, surprised me in one of the reviews with an amazing, um, you know, Matt, what is it? The mash bill number one, yeah. white dog, white dog. Cool. because they know that I love high proof and you know, because I love you guys <laughs> and I know that you guys uh -oh. are delicate, yes. delicate flowers, like, you know, <laughs> Shine flower. you know, like, like a heart sees or, you know, one of those things. <laughs> and so I have a special gift for you guys because I thought, Oh my God, you know, 101, yeah. you know, that's, that's pretty tough. So I got you guys. Because you guys are peaches, because you're nice. peaches, and Evans Willi Evan Williams, Evans but Williams. it's a peach, and it's only 70 proof. 
Wow. So for those Quiet with peach. with delicate, nah. you know, disposition, well, you know what? Um, I, I really feel like you, know, you gotta get that. I, I just wanted to I'll crack open into that. <laughs> Are you gonna be I'll offended know. if I don't drink? Guys, it? this is the exact same glass bottle. Seriously, Holy look at the. Look exactly at the bottom. Exactly the same. Yep. Wow. But just to point out, I'll like, take the at, one on the right. Look at the color on this. Yeah. Man. No, yeah. I'm looking. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? Look this at the difference. This is incredible. Right there. Yeah. But I don't think this should be on the bourbon gold on show. The <laughs> It's a gift. Gone. It's a gift. It's a gift for our delicate friends. We'll, the other receipt. We'll, we'll, can we return it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll yeah. give that gift straight to the toilet without passing. But get to our tasting. Uh, well, yeah, Jules if you guys tells. are uh, new to the Bourbon Guild, we do have a ten-point grading system. We give two points for aroma. It's also the nose. Three points for complexity. Two points for drinkability. Three points for uniqueness and a bonus point for value. So for us, value is usually based on its availability and price point. So for this though, is it availability in Japan? Well, I gotta say. Because you know, I, I mean, I looks like say, it's available in Japan. <laughs> but I, I would say this, if you happen to be in Japan or be right. traveling there, it is readily available. That's right. right, that's my point. Just so. because it's not readily available in your locale, does right. that? Right. So think about all that when you guys score. Here we go. And for those of you out there, you know, we've had some oh. response to this on our Instagrams. Um, if somebody can send uh, put up a picture of the back, just to compare and contrast. I, I know we posted a picture of the back with, yeah. the, with the Japanese on it. Um, it's kind of cool just to compare the labels. Because yeah. all that might be different, and I haven't really compared them, is the back label and the front ones may be exactly the same on the export and the, right. the one they sell at the gift shop. So I've not seen the back label from the one at the gift shop. I know, Ben, when we were there, they didn't even have it at the gift shop. No, it's you know, very rare. Seasonal kind of thing. Yep. This is... Remarkable. I'm curious story. about your uh, your scores here. Yeah, me too. I mean, I I know I you. Know. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't have looked. Man. <laughs> This guy, man, this guy always surprises me. I don't want to look. I don't want to look. The Trump card. I, I want to be surprised. I love being surprised. Uh. I, I do, you know I do want to say to the viewers like you know a lot of these kind of. You know, mm. little in, in, inside jokes and jokes and stuff like that. These are all unplanned. Yeah. That's why it's so unprofessional. We did not know he was going to bust out with a peach whiskey. <laughs> and had we known, we would have tackled him and stopped him. <laughs> we would have broken the bottle over his head. Yes. No, we wouldn't do that. Oh. Okay. You guys ready? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Ben, let's start with you. I have a 7.5. 7.5. All right. Not bad. Dylan. Uh, I give it a 7. 7. Not bad. I give it an 8. So oh, seven for seven, me as well. Yeah. The Dutch and Dylan show back as usual. Yeah. Wow. So we're we're actually all right around the same uh, yeah. yeah same yeah. mark there. That's pretty, pretty pretty close. So let's kick it off with aroma. Um, I I shouldn't be the one to start with aroma, but no. I always do anyway because I, I have a bad nose. But I I definitely picked something up here. I mean it was, you know I got the typical caramel. I got a little bit of sweetness. There was a pretty big alcohol hit. Yeah. So for me it was a one. Really. There was yeah. a little bit there. Enough to make me say, yeah, there's something interesting going on here. Uh, but that was about it. Yeah, was... I totally opposite. 1.5 out of 2. I got <laughs> totally part, opposite. Totally opposite. <laughs> Party in my nose, man. Yeah, like, five oh different my God. Right here. <laughs> One. Wow. Yeah. Right. Wow. Yeah, no, I mean, I was getting the sweet. I was getting, um, you know, the fruity side. And then, yeah, I got some of the smokiness. And so it was awesome. I don't know. The aroma was great for me. So, Dylan, anything to add on aroma? Yeah, so, so aroma, for me, the, the flavor profile is... Stewed fruit. Yeah. It's basically like preserves, hot preserves. I can I can taste it. Yeah, the it problem. Like a, it was like a red hot. You're right, but it was red hot. <laughs> yeah, red it was hot. red hot. It was that's, like red hot's candy. It, it, it kind it of like overwhelmed hot, that. Yeah, that yeah. So the, so the, the heat kind of blew it out for me. Yeah, it really like pushed away any of the it. honey or the caramel or any yeah, of the it was other. Enjoyable, ones. but it was just a bit. Yeah, it was a bit hot. yeah. Ben. You you guys have a different glass of bourbon in front of you. Maybe you got some of that peach with the stewed fruit. I gotta tell you, I got. I got some of the burn. Yeah. It is one on one proof, some, right? Yeah. You know, it's a little, it's a little burny, but burn I got burn. nutty caramel, yeah. like just a really like savory nutty vanilla caramel really? flavor, and oh, the aroma! I gave it a one point five. Yeah. I I think there the burn was a little much. Yeah, there was. It was a little overpowering. So but, that's that's that was all that was keeping you from it too. Yeah, Perfect. pretty much. Mm. What because when when 
when the burn subsided, what was behind, I got a nutty richness, a caramel, vanilla, a little bit of spice, a little bit of the fruit that you're talking about, like the peach, the stewed yeah, fruit. Yeah. But man, like it's all there. I just, I didn't give it a two because there's a little bit of burn that kind of was a little off-putting. Hmm. All right, guys, let's get into the flavors here. First category, complexity. So I'm going to bring up, you know, what ben, ben and I were talking about this on, on, on our way here today because... This has been on our Instagrams, and we've had a couple comments from people mm. with the same descriptor, which was peanut butter goodness. Yeah. Mm. And I definitely got the hits of nuttiness. Yes. I mm. definitely got the sweetness. So, I, I mean, complexity-wise, this was up there for me. It was a two. It wasn't quite... Yeah, that's what same. I gave it. Look at that. Two. Look at that. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. 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 2.0 on complexity. I mean, I think you guys would agree with me. I mean, this hits yeah. a lot. It's It's kind of... Missing maybe that third yeah. element. And I think there's some muddling. There's some muddling of the flavors. A little bit of muddling. And it was kind of like a strong sweet and then that kind of yes. strong nutty caramelly taste. But yeah. that was it. Like there was none of the spices that we'd like to yeah. taste. But it's, it honestly tastes it's, for me like a peanut uh, M&M. It, it's interesting. Yeah. I don't get any of the nutty flavor. Really? It's, it's get basically it. pure stewed mm. fruit. Like the smell. Really? And I mean... You know, there, there's some really great recipes out there, how mm. they take all of this, like, summer fruit and, and yeah. make it into like these sangrias. preserves, right? It just, it has that, and it's really pleasant. So I kind of teetered from 1.5 to 2, and ultimately ended up in a 2, because okay. I can see some of the the the, the differing types of fruits yeah. and, you know, the hint of caramel a little bit. So yeah. I figured that the 101 proof of this and the bite that I'm getting... I, I've been trying to kind of add some water and, and, and neuter it out a little bit to get you know more of those flavors to come forward. But I figured that would be right up your alley. Did you enjoy that? Like, is the burn uh, yeah. pleasurable? The, like, the burn, I didn't have any problems with the burn. Well, that's a little yeah. bit I thought one ability, but... Yeah, but I thought 101, I, you know... No, but did that So I get that. Accent? I think oh, it okay. did. I think okay. the, the reason why they did it at 101 is to Intensive. preserve okay. this this Got score. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I, you know, I, I, I like it. Okay. All right, guys. Next, ca- Ben, anything to add? No, no, okay, no. Okay, next no. category, drinkability. Um, it, it faltered a little bit here for me, and I think it, maybe it's because it's a 101. I think you get that flavor intensity, but I definitely got a pretty strong alcohol burn with this, so it was mm-hmm. a one for me. Not wow. quite a much there for me, honestly. I gave it a perfect because of the fact wow. that it is a 101, and I'm, I'm ready to have another pour. Wow. You know, so it was good. I, you know, I gave it a 1.5. The 12-year shows, um, it yeah. has mm-hmm. a... The only reason I didn't give it a perfect two is it, it does have slight burn, hmm. a little bit, but perfectly drinkable. Yeah. Don't need water, you know. So I gave it a 1.5 also, and the reason is is there's a dryness in the finish hmm. that I'm kind of picking up, and also yeah. the burn. Yeah. But I, I get a little, 1.5 out of two, I'm happy with that. Yeah, like, a little bit of a tannic. For a high-proof 12-year bourbon, yeah, like I'm, I'm digging it. Yeah. 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 Yeah, for me it was that it was exactly what you're talking about. There's that little bit of that aftertaste. It's almost like a little bit tannic, yeah. and the high proof that just kind of wasn't mm. didn't it wasn't enough. Yeah, you know, it was enough for one. And I, I can understand the one point five. I don't understand the two, but it's okay. It's okay. Perfect. All right. Uh, next category: uniqueness. This was a two point five out the gate for yeah. me. Same. So, yeah. This yeah, has. You know, what? first of all, yeah. there's a uniqueness factor yeah. that yeah. the limited availability yeah. in the bottling, the story, the, the, story, market, the fact that it's got year, that's a yeah, twelve year Japanese year. writing on the back, yeah. Konichiwa, all that. I mean, <laughs> don't mind it's a twelve year and I did get, and I did get the nuttiness. And I mean, there's some yeah. unique flavors yeah. to this yeah. that you don't really pick up with your yeah. average bourbon. For sure. Wow. I'm with you. Exactly. 2.5 for you yeah, as well. 2.5. I guess I'm the outlier. I'm the one point five. Wow. the road. So. Middle of the I, road. You know, this is happened? an average. Right, right there yeah. is a is a is a vintage Evan Williams, right? Okay. And if you taste that, I'm 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 confident that you're gonna taste the same juice. You know what we should do? We should do a blind tasting head to head. Yeah, we should. And I, that's why I gave it a 1.5. Feel like it's not bad. It's but it's not wow. truly unique. I mean, I love really? the bottle, but this is just a translation. I mean, this is, <laughs> oh, I mean, like, what's, I, come on. what's the right. what's the difference there? Okay. It's a, I, you just showed another bottle that looks exactly the same. It's also the story. Hey, it's, it's also the, the story. The story is that they got a translator. You gotta pay the translator, bro. <laughs> it is unique because That's it's expensive. It is unique because it's only I'm available. I'm confident it's our only viewers... available in an overseas market. That adds yeah. a level of uniqueness. No, I think this is. I mean, it's it's. What did you we get? know what, it's. Ben, 
did after, you give it again? I gave it a two uh, uniqueness two point five. Oh, so you're right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I this is sought after in the U.S. Yeah. You can't. It's it's expensive even at the Heaven Hill or the gift shop. The gift shop. Heaven Hill. Yeah. Um, you know, this is something that's sought out, but also it's a unique story. Like this came over in somebody's checked luggage for us from Japan. You can't buy it in the U.S. market, or if you can, it's expensive. And beyond that, like twelve-year bourbons, like how often do you see those at thirty bucks? Like there's a lot of unique. And and then let's get into the flavor. Like there, you know, say what you will about drinkability, complexity, but like this is a very good twelve-year bourbon, yeah. and the price. You know, I, your, I agree. your ticket to Tokyo may be a little cheaper or more expensive. So the price on this is a little, you know, get a friend, get a friend like I, we did. No, no, no. Yeah. I agree. It's a good twelve year, but it is not unique. I disagree. Just get a quid. Disagree. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Final category. Be swayed. Bonus category for value. Now we have to take into account a lot of things here. Oh, you know, the price actually paid, which was around thirty dollars, thirty U.S. dollars. Right. The fact that it's it's pretty readily available in Japan, yeah. but the fact that it's really only available in Japan, in Japan, and then if you want to buy it in the U.S., it's going to cost you 125 bucks exactly. at least. So there's a lot to factor in there. But to me, overall, I give it a 0. 0.5 because it is readily available in a pretty large market for whiskeys in Japan, in Japan. and at a very very reasonable price there. So it was kind of like again, it was like a 2.5 for availability and a 2.5 for value. I mean, hmm. oh, I really feel like it's more like a 0.75, but I have to give it a 0.5. Wow. Really? Jules. I don't know. I give it a zero. Uh, mostly because of exactly the reasoning you just gave us of, I can't believe the price difference is so great. Yeah. And I think that's, that's what true. was troubling. And it's like, and, and apart from its available, that's annoying. availability, obviously. But yeah, the, the fact that at the gift store, it's, gift you shop. know, or gift shop, it's like, you know, what is that? Five times the price. You know, come on. Like, so I don't know. That, that's why I had to just drop it down get zero value. So, right. so are you guys done? Yeah, done? Okay, so everything that... Listen to everything that Dutch said. And I think the viewers would agree, you give it one. I mean, it's... it's wow. Red, look, wow. For it's, value? It's readily available. It's in one $22. market. It's two dollars. It's it's twenty two hundred yen for a twelve year bourbon. For a twelve year bourbon, you, gave this you one get you, the, there's there's great value in this, right? <laughs> Think about the definition. You, All you gotta you do is get a and, ticket to Japan. But if you get yeah. a ticket to Kentucky, look, it's hundred thirty dollars. No. If How you get much great have value you been in drinking? A twenty two dollars <laughs> right. to get a you twelve gave year this Evan a 1. Williams. One point five on uniqueness, <laughs> but a one on value. Like, <laughs> no right, value ben. takes into account the right, entire ben. story. Ben, what do you give us on value? Zero. Zero. You if you go. if you're over in Japan a couple times a year, grab a couple and bring them back to us. So it's available right there. Right. Thank you very much for again. Justifying the Japan one. To buy bourbon. Many people, people. Apparently, every, there's a every year. Lots there's a of flight right now. <laughs> oh god. All right, guys. This is not a value. It, okay, for those of you who aren't going to Tokyo, you don't have to in go to the Tokyo. near future. Go to. You can pay 130 and get a bottle of this thirty dollar bourbon in Japan in in the at the <laughs> Heaven Hill Distillery the, gift shop this if like, they have it there's nothing of value about this it's not for the US this market. is like in the 7-Eleven uh, in Japan you're gonna get you're guys, gonna pay 22 again, bucks for a 12 well, year well, guys, in Japan I, I, I think there's a strong argument to make it a point five, mm. which is what I gave it I agree Dylan, Dylan's a little over the top of the one but <laughs> that's all we can say for it guys uh, right, that's it. Wow. Yeah. let's sum this up let's bust out the Woo. trusty adding machine I'm getting hot over there guys this is Red hot. some sharp wow. technology here yeah, good old Addy. Good old adding machine. All right, guys. <laughs> ben Richards. 7.5. 7.5. Dylan. I like how we argued like crazy, but it's a 7. <laughs> we all have the same score. <laughs> oh, crap. Uh. Jeez. <laughs> Yeah, Addy failed us again. Can we get another? Can we get another? <laughs> we are not upgrading this. All right, Jules. Host. 8.0. Don't listen to them, guy. <laughs> 8.0. Now he's talking. Oh. <laughs> are you Jeez. talking? Oh, no. All right, starting over here. 7.5. 7.0. 8.0. 8.0. And a 7.0. 7. Magic number. And the grand total. Official Bourbon Guild Ooh, review show. That's good. 
for Evan Williams 12 year import because I, we actually can't confirm that this is different than the gift shop one. We assume right. it's the same. But the Japanese import, Evan Williams 12 year, 7.38 from the Bourbon Guild. It's very good. That's a that very good, good score. Good. Imported, good. very good. Imported like goodness. You know, availability. For a $20 we got an issue. Dollar yeah. ultra value, um, you know, liquor. Yeah. yeah. Pretty yeah. solid, guys. For sure. All right, Jules, take Hey, you guys tell us what you think in the comments below. Give us a thumbs up if you like this episode. Hit that subscribe button for more videos from the Bourbon Guild. And check us out on Instagram, Facebook. Let us know if you've been to Japan. Get a t well, get a Bourbon Guild. Get a Bourbon Guild t-shirt. Shout out to Shout Inflames. Out. Shout out. Ben. Bourbon Guild says, <laughs> Come pie and domo gato to our Japanese bartenders and to your bartenders. Tip them well. And thank you to the Japanese people for this wonderful yes. Evan Williams 12 year that only you get. Bourbon Guild out. I, I How stand often by do that. you go to Japan? I don't know. On you the go. regular, apparently. There you go. Dude, we are oh. not. We are not drinking this nastiness. You know what? No. Okay, look. No. The reason why no. is because we got to give something a warning. No. <laughs>